Hey everyone, the topic that we're going to talk today is Belladonna. Let's get into it. Belladonna is in the nightshade family, which it shares with potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, jimson weed, tobacco, wolfberry, and chili peppers. And the name Belladonna originates from the Italian verse beautiful woman, because in the history, the women use this for dilating their pupils for aesthetic purposes. And this was not a good idea because belladonna can be poisonous. Though widely regarded as unsafe, belladonna is taken by mouth as a sedative to stop bronchial spasm and asthma and whooping cough and as a cold and hay fever remedy. And it's also used for Parkinson's disease, colic, inflammatory bowel disease, motion sickness and as a painkiller. What happens if you eat belladonna? Belladonna is likely unsafe when taken by mouth because it contains chemicals that can be toxic. And this plant contains tropan alkaloids, including atropine and scopolamine, which are used as anticholinergic drugs approved by FDA and homeopathic remedies. Belladonna has chemicals that can block functions of the body's nervous system. And some of the body functions regulated by the nervous system include salivation, sweating, pupil size, urination, digestive functions and others. And we're going to see some side effects related to these functions. And those side effects are dry mouth, fever, enlarged pupils, blurred vision, red dry skin, fast heartbeat, inability to urinate or sweat, and lastly hallucinations, spasms, mental problems, convulsions, and coma. In pregnancy, it's likely unsafe when taken by mouth, and it's also likely unsafe during breastfeeding. It can reduce milk production and also can pass into breast milk. And lastly, in order to treat this, we are using acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, physostigmine, because it can cross the blood-brain barrier and it would be helpful. So that's it for today. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel.